Okay, in this one we have um, back of a truck and you have an assembly of this truck and that truck assembly is, is supporting a mass of 500 kilograms and we want to find or determine the force acting along the axis of each of the strikes. Okay, I said that in this problem what you have is you have three strikes going from point A to B, then you have a strike from point A to D, then you have another strike from point A to C. And they're supporting a block whose mass is given as 500 kilograms and we want to find the forces in each of these strikes. Now there is a difference between this problem and the one before. See before we had cables and in cables you can only apply a force in tension. There is no compressive force in cables but the strut are like solid bars and they can take both forces. I mean a strut could be in tension with force going like this or it could be in compression force going like this. So in case of the strut both are possible and for this problem at when you start I mean you can make some guesses the guess could be that these two struts they are being pulled downward so they should be in tension or probably they are in tension so one going from A to B is being squeezed inside so probably that's in compression so I mean it's just a guess by looking at the geometry and the loading but in general it, it, you don't have to make those guesses I mean you could make or you could choose any force you want when you're starting out the problem and you could write all such equations and then in the end you look at the sign if the sign came out all positive then you know that your original assumption was correct or if it came out negative just go back to the original assumption and change the direction so in this problem what I'm going to do is to start the problem is going to make the assumption that all the struts are in tension I mean that's just an assumption and as I said that that will get us 